Welcome back, everybody. Time for one last recipe. And I have started doing this all the time. I kind of got into the habit of doing it, and now I do it more and more. I'm talking about making my own homemade uh, oven-baked tortilla chips because I normally have tortillas laying around the house, but sometimes I don't have the chips, and they're not all that good for you. And I mentioned earlier I love to dip. Yep, give me a good dip and some chips, and it's a, it's a good night, uh, a good movie. So I've try to find a way that I can make a really great dip, like in this case is guilt-free guacamole, just avocado, tomato, cilantro, a little jalapeno pepper, but no mayo, no sour cream, and, and um, avocado really is you know, good for you. It's got that good fat. And then do a guilt-free chip. So this is so easy to do. You take some flour, or if you like it crunchier, some corn tortillas. I usually just use whatever I've got in the house, and I normally have you know some sort of tortilla around because I, I do a lot of quesadillas at home. That's another great way to use leftovers. Um, and we'll do something on that another time. But basically, I use a pizza cutter. And just depends on what size tortilla that you have. These happen to be the perfect side for this. And you cut them just like you would a pizza. You could certainly use a knife too, but pizza cutter really works nicely. And then you get a nice big baking sheet. You spread these babies out. These are so great warm out of the oven, but you can also make them ahead of time and keep them in like a, you know, airtight container or a resealable plastic bag and they will stay crunchy on you. But I love to be able to serve them right warm out of the oven. I think that's when they're really at their peak. So actually, kind of like a deck of cards, just spread them on out. And for the others, I'll get another baking sheet. You want to make sure that they've got some room. Now, you could, a couple of things. You can actually just take um, cooking spray, or I love the olive oil cooking spray, and give them a quick spray if you've got a can of that around. That works really well. You can take melted butter, or we're going to keep it nice and healthy and do a little bit of olive oil, or you could do canola, grapeseed, vegetable oil. Just a little bit, though. You don't need much. And if you really want to watch it, like I say, um, those spray, you can create your own spray. They sell those spray bottles now at cooking stores. I've even seen them at the grocery store, and you just put a little bit of oil in there. And, you know, just a little dab will do you just to get these to crisp up. Now, I'm going to just use some kosher salt. Sea salt is also fantastic. You could do some fun flavored ones. You could do a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of oregano if you want a little more spice to the chips. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I've also done, and I do um, fruit salsas, like a, a strawberry kiwi or I do an apple pie dip, where I flavor these. I don't do the salt, but I do sugar and cinnamon. So then you have, what a great snack for the after, after school snack for the kiddos or even a fun dessert is to do uh, a sweeter cinnamon sugar baked tortilla chip. So these go into the oven. I do them at about 350, and boy, keep an eye on them. These babies are done. Um, I'll actually pull them out of the oven before they're done because they'll continue to bake up on the cookie sheet. So sometimes five minutes or less, don't walk away, set a timer, keep checking them. But they, you can see how crisp they are, and they're fantastic. They're also great. I've got them with guacamole here, but they're also wonderful, served with hummus or salsa. Um, lots of great things that you can do with these. Start making them. We'll be back. Stay with us.